that ice falling down there be scaring me? making some ranch pork chops so I'm gonna quickly make my sauce for them and I like mine a little spicy So this hot pepper is optional. I love spicy stuff. <laughs> so that was garlic, paprika, hot pepper, I mean crushed peppers, black pepper, onion powder. This is garlic. Parsley just for a little bit of color. And a little bit of thyme just a tad and that is how you make the mix but remember it started with the it started with the um grapeseed oil okay these have been cleaned this was an actual pork tenderloin that i cut up because it's cheaper to buy a point pork tenderloin but my knife sucks that's why i got new knives which i'll be putting out soon with the next day or so um, it's easier to buy a pork tenderloin and cut it up into center cut chops than to buy pork chops because it's just much easier, meaning like you get more meat. It's not easier, meaning like, you know, the, the preparation, but you get more meat because I was able to make, uh, at least six or seven meals out of the pork tenderloin, which cost me like nine bucks. But if I bought a thing of, uh of uh pork chops center cut pork chops it was like six bucks and i may have got one meal out of it so it's good to buy your meats where you could cut them yourself bring it home and cut it yourself whether it be ham and i want to even if i continue to eat pork even start doing that with my lunch meat like taking my um meat and cutting it really thin for like sandwiches and stuff instead of buying lunch meat because i know it'll be much more cheaper for me um and and save money save a lot of money doing that so basically i'm just putting it on the other side of the pork chop as well let me do that side this is a real simple dish and it is so good i'm going to be making mashed potatoes and the girls want green beans so i'm gonna do green beans and i'll save i just have a taste for some candid um candid what do you call it um uh, i need some more oil um carrots so i'll make them with another meal i'll definitely make them with another meal so you just want to get both sides of the meat and put your ranch spices on them like i'm doing i'm hearing a noise This is very flavorful. It's so tasty. And you just put it in the oven. You could do these in a crock pot. Um, I mean, you can even do them on top of the stove if you wanted to. But I just want to bake them and let them do their thing in the oven. And I got the um, rope. Did I not start? I thought I started. See, I'm trying to learn the stove, y'all. <laughs> Convection roast. 360. Start. Forgot to press start. I'm like, why does it feel like my stove is on? Because it's not. So that's all I'm doing. Is putting all that goodness on them. Putting some onions for more flavor. And we're going to wrap this up. Very simple meal. And put them in the oven. Where is, oh, let me get my aluminum foil.
off. <laughs> now, this is the first time I'm cutting aluminum foil with this bamboo thing. Let's see how it does. Okay, I just gotta line it up better. <laughs> so there we go. You know what I wanted? Oh, here it is. I'm like, well, I knew I had something. I wanted to put just a couple packs of this butter on each one very thin and I'm just breaking it in half and putting it on each pork chop. That's all. You put the thinner one on the little ones. And that's it. I'll stick that in the oven. And let it cook. Convection cook. That should take about 40 minutes, 30 minutes, not too long. I already got my green beans. I got the all these frozen green beans. I just added a little bit of um, butter, some bouillon, some black pepper, and I'm just gonna let them cook so they can get real tender. So those will be good. Put this butter up. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. I've been, I was really trying not to buy no snacks, y'all. I'm like, oh, time is here, and that's the time when I want to snack, snack, snack. I've been eating cereal. <laughs> um, who's in here? Hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Hi, um, Laura. I don't know where Teresa is, Ruth. I don't know. You know, Teresa be acting up. I don't know where she at today, girl. She's supposed to be here. She was on the live and I mean the video and said, see you at 530. I got something on my cabinet. I'm wiping it off real quick. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Um, so I don't know where she at. Let me wash these little bit of dishes real quick. Yeah, I don't know where Teresa is. Let me put this stuff up. That candle is so freaking good. I've been having so much whipped cream through the holidays and I've been keeping the dark on bowls. Hold on. I'm going to put them under here. That's like the third bowl I have <laughs> of um, whipped cream. Put these dishes away so I have space. To put my ones I'm about to clean up away. She probably making she probably making this shit somewhere, girl. Y'all know how Teresa is. Teresa be acting up. What's this? I hate when I put something in my dish thing. I have to rinse it off. Ugh. You guys know what you're cooking for um cooking for uh christmas it's not a whole bunch to clean but i like to clean as i go so after dinner it won't be that many dishes for whoever gonna wash them nobody thumbs up my video no thumbs up not even from ruth or lori no <laughs> Got the items I got from Amazon. And these pie pans <laughs> got what like 40. I think I put one in recycling, so one might be gone. Actually, it's four bowls because there's another bowl right here. Yep, four bowls of whipped cream. I love me some cool whip. I love the homemade one. But it's actually, it actually costs more to make the homemade one than it does just buy Cool Whip. Sometimes homemade is, I mean, it can't, it's worth it because of you knowing what's in it. But cost-wise, it's not always worth it. <laughs> it can be much more 
um, that you're spending when you're making stuff homemade, you know? I've been wanting me some more biscuits and gravy, like the breakfast biscuits and gravy. And I was going to make me some homemade biscuits. And when I got that easy recipe on how to make homemade buttermilk biscuits, um, and I want it because I got some sage sausage. Oh, that would be so good. So good. So good. All right. Got those little bit of things cleaned up. All right. Let me wipe this board down real quick. All I did was cut an onion, so I'm just going to wipe the surface of it off. There we go. So now our food is in the oven. I got this water going for the potatoes. Made like a broth so they don't taste bland. Let me get those potatoes. Enjoying, um, Naya does not like, it's just weird. Naya, if y'all been rocking, y'all know Naya would prefer me do a box potato over a homemade potato. Don't ask me why. Uh, she's weird about potatoes and then even with the box potatoes some some she's like uh yeah she just not is different when it comes to i've never seen nobody i don't know i'm not saying everybody likes mashed potatoes but i love some mashed potatoes and i can eat i can eat box i can eat homemade i can eat both it doesn't really bother me i gotta find them i know they're in here somewhere this is going to be our next quick meal. Some, some, it's beanie weenies, but I do it with turkey, kibasi. Um, I think I'm just going to do one can. I don't know where to keep two out. That's going to be the next quick meal. Something quick that I know they can eat on for at least like two days. Oh, here they go. I took them out the thing and I thought I'll put the little what you call it, but I think they're fine. They should be fine. So these are little potatoes I'm going to make. <laughs> Cause, and she wants them thick. She likes them real thick. She don't like them like creamy. She likes them kind of like, sort of like eating a baked potato is what she goes for when she um, has the mashed potatoes or wants the mashed potatoes. So that's that. <laughs> oh, I'm putting this. Hold on, the seasonings. Trying to tidy up after myself. Get my little boxes. So I ordered a couple things. And I ordered some. Oh, geez. This bag is busted. I ordered some lights for the tree because we went and got the tree, and duh, we ain't got no lights. <laughs> we don't have any lights for the tree. So I ordered some, excited about it, and here goes Amazon with that bull crap. Package running late. Supposed to be here yesterday. Then they said it still could arrive today. I hate when they do that. It's so irritating. Then sometimes you wait, you wait it out because you don't want to reorder and wait longer. And then it still don't come. That's what I can't stand about when the packages are running late. Like, ugh. They're stuck. Maybe they just need to be cleaned up. Cause they're stuck. Okay, let me cut my computer on so I can see. I did mainly everything that I need to do today. I was gonna tell y'all a story about what happened with the guy at U-Haul. I didn't even get to tell y'all that we had a whole episode. I recorded a little bit of it and I was just very frustrated. I, I was just very frustrated, disappointed, but Okay. What is it? Oh, let me go to my live. Because my phone will start at, probably acting stupid. Then I can't see. What y'all saying? If y'all talking to me, thank you for whoever thumbs up. May you be blessed richly. And may God bless all your endeavors and everything that you plan on doing in the future. For the person who thumbs up, I appreciate that. It's your last chance to shop with. 
Wayfair Cyber Week. Save on Come kitchen on, and dining. Mute. Okay. Let me see something, y'all. Let me see if I can hold on. Where's my little cutter? So I'm gonna do videos on what I'm gonna do with this stuff, but y'all know me. Organization, making life easier, not nothing frivolous. So, first package I have is hey Faye. So that just lets me know that the stove is at 360 convection roast. Is this okay? They put it in another package. I think they overkill with the packages a lot. This was a great deal, and I kept looking until I found the right one. So I have the Blink security system, and the actual thingy that the Wi Fi box or whatever you want to call it, it looks like this it's white. Um, that holds the USB because after your 30 day trial you get a USB and you put that in that way you don't have to pay for a subscription and it still alerts you and lets you know when people are around your house and if somebody's close at your door and all that stuff and um, so it's kind of irritating and I didn't even know this existed and I was just looking for ways to hide cords and move cords out the way so I found this and let me show you why it's a good thing because when I tell y'all it's irritating, it's so, let me cut that down real low. It's very irritating having these cords and the dust and the, it's just so much. So I'm probably going to take this out of here. This is currently in where Rizzy is. And so this is what it looks like. It's just literally sitting. It's just literally sitting here like this. See that long gold cord and that is just literally sitting there like that. All right, so this is this. And so I guess it comes with a little cord. And I guess you use your own box. I don't know. Let's see what's inside here. And this is supposed to make it look neater and still give you space to plug in something else. So it's called an all outlet wall mount for the Blink Sync module. And that's the Blink Sync module. So let's see what's in this little box because it feels so light. So let's see what's inside. Hold on. Let's see what's inside and see if it's going to um, be everything that's on here or if it's just the little case. Don't know. Let's see. We can put y'all right here. All right. It just seems so light. Like it. I literally thought I could have sworn I ordered the black. I could have sworn I did order the black. Oh, okay. I see what it is. Okay, you already got your own box. Well, my box is white, so I guess it's okay. So this is the cord, and this is the thing that goes. So I guess I push this into the wall, put my box in, plug this into the box, plug this into the, the unit, and then they're like kind of out the way. But it doesn't look like the same thing on here. It looks totally different. Hold on, y'all. Y'all hear that? I'm hearing some noise. Anywho. And it don't check which one, but I thought I ordered black. It just seems less... That's it. As long as it do what it do hold the module in and all that good stuff that's I guess that's all that matters I don't know what this little side because it's got like a little side I don't know what this is I don't know what this part is is that for the cord oh I, I guess and I don't know. And this part goes into there, maybe. I'm making up stuff. And maybe the other part goes into the bottom or something. I, I don't know. I'm making up something. Because this is not what 
the it, it, look at it it doesn't even look like the actual part they just made it more square where it's the square piece that plugs in but on this it shows like the square pieces there um is here and then it's a space and then another piece that goes up that you put the thing in um and then this is at the bottom so we'll see it just it's not even white it's like cream in it yeah it wasn't that bad i i found this this was the cheapest one i found it looked cheap too but i guess it'll be covered it won't be so bad the most inexpensive it don't feel cheap cheap it still feels solid um it just looks like creamy instead of white white i thought i ordered black but whatever um We'll see. I'm going to do a mini video on putting the cords up and putting this in and, and seeing how it saves some space. Ooh. Act like it don't want to go in the box. So that's that. Then I ordered. Now these I got. Ugh, I got a. These are the other things that I was waiting for. That I got the gift card for. Um, and I told y'all a lot of this stuff was on my registry. Um, these are two, a two-pack of machine washable zippered bed, bed bug proof utopia bedding, waterproof jersey pillow encasements. The I literally ordered King and Nisei Standard. I know I ordered King and Nisei Standard. Amazon is getting on my nerves now. Like, it's literally getting on my nerves. I'm so tired of taking stuff back, taking stuff back. I'm so, so tired of it. I'm so tired of it. right exactly because king only had white how is this too perfect this is 20 by 26 this is not a king is so much longer so much for that now i gotta take this back let me see if i can take it back to Coles or how it how is it going to tell me to take this back and and the price went up <laughs> nope i'm gonna call them first to see if they could just do an exchange and then i'll send this back once the other one comes that way i can get it for the same price so that was that then um for organization in the kitchen what i was waiting for i got this box was these here and this, they sent me a promotion. And Naya has one of these. And I've been using it and I like it. So they sent me a promotion. And this is not sponsored or nothing. Like a promotion cyber. It was an extended cyber Monday. Cyber Cyber Monday. Yeah, Cyber Monday. And y'all, I had a $5 promotional credit. And then this right here was on sale for 14 bucks. So I got this Echo Dot. It's a third generation. And I think Naya has a two. I like her too. But this, or, or does she have the three? Whatever. This Echo Dot was only nine bucks. You cannot beat that. So I like it because when we go in there, it'll connect to your phone. Um, you can listen to your movie. Now I have a speaker in the shower. But this one will either be in here, like when I like to listen to music, or I'll put in my room when I want to say, you know, Alexa, play my jazz station on um, Amazon or Pandora or whatever. Um, I guess you got to connect all that stuff, whatever. I don't know. I don't know too much about this. Do y'all have one? If you do, tell me how much you like it and what you do um, with this. Call mom, play today's hits. Like, I've seen it. And I'm like, eh, I don't want one. But for nine bucks, yeah, I'm not trying to pay the, the higher prices. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I ended up using some of my gift card and I got this. 
I had a $5 promotion, so I didn't hardly spend, but like I said, $9 from the gift card that I had got as a gift, and I got the Echo Dot for nine bucks, literally, y'all. You can't beat that, and this feels heavy. It feels sturdy. Um, the other thing that was in that box was these magnetic hooks, and I found these for a great deal. Let me see. I got my thing open. I needed these because I'm going to organize my utensils and my drawer and put my knives and stuff up. And I got these hooks for, see it's showing zero as a total because I used the gift card. And these have very great reviews, $6.80 per pack. The seller do not like you to get more than one. He says a limit one per customer. So I had to go in pay, come back in and pay again, two different purchases in order to get two because it was 10 a piece. And these are supposed to be really good magnets. Um, let's see. They're supposed to be really good magnets and stick really well. Hold, you know, you're going to see. Oh, they come where you got to screw them in. And y'all know I'm trying to have everything so organized and so accessible. Oh, gosh, these things are pretty strong. So they are all stick together like this. So I got this here. My hands might be arshy. You need the arshiness. These are really well made. Like these are really, really well made. And so you put it in and you screw it like that. And let's see how well they work. Let's see if they stick to my refrigerator. <laughs> ah, let's turn y'all around. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, they got they got a little pull to them. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, bam. Okay. <laughs> okay. See. Mm -mm. Well, I shouldn't be doing that to grab something off, anyways. So let's say boom. I'm just trying to see how they. So if I grab what I need, and it's that arms reach right about here. Boom. Okay, let's see. Um, what else can I put? That's oh my little thing, my baby. Oh, did I put? Did I show y'all the video with this yet? Is this gonna be too heavy? Cause this seems like we about to have a problem, Houston. Hold on. Why is this not trying to go in? Nope, this one ain't gonna work. This is too thick, and I'm sad about it because. Maybe I can put an extension on this and let it hook from something else. Or maybe I can hang it like that. <laughs> um, then I had this little thing I'm going to be. Okay. And it's, it's, it's sturdy. Like you shouldn't be pulling on it. It's there. It ain't moving. It ain't moving. See, I've seen people work. Okay. It's sturdy because if it wasn't, that movement would make it slide. So that's good. Um, let's see what else we can hang up. I ain't gonna be putting these up here, but let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Well, these spoons, these are these kind of heavy. I'm definitely gonna be putting this. I know I had my bad boy for years. That's from my grandpa. And that thing still ain't never dull. German made. That's how old it is. Haven't stained or anything. Y'all know if y'all been rocking, your girl had this since. Oh my gosh, I lived in South Carolina in that apartment waiting for our house. Okay, so that's that. This I know I definitely want to hang it up. The little spice thing I just got. Okay, okay. All right. So we in there. I think it's, I think it's going to work pretty good for us. I'm going to do a little video on organizing all this mess down here. Yeah. Oh, where's my thing? Oh, I just used it. Oh, wait, no, here's... Ah, uh, nope, it don't have one, y'all. I might have to hook my thing like this. I might have to hook it like that, y'all, because uh, ain't no thing in it. But that's fine, right? Yeah, okay. Stuff that I know I use on a consistent basis, I want it accessible. Bam. So the knives and all that to be accessible. 
And so I'm liking it. For $6, y'all should see the price of these hooks, okay? When I found it, y'all listen. When I'm looking for something, I keep looking and looking and looking and looking. Yes, I do. I keep looking. I do not give in or give up until I find what I'm comfortable. I don't care if it is a gift or somebody gift. I will stretch that gift card as much as I can to get as much items that I know I really want for my house. I will stretch it. I'm just stirring these green beans and I'm about to put, it has some butter, uh, I think onion pepper, black pepper, and a little bit of adobo and onion powder. And then this is just bouillon and some water and I'm going to put some butter in there and um, get ready to make the mashed potatoes in a bit. I'm gonna cut that down just low, low, low. Um, and our pork chops is in the oven. The ranch pork chops in the oven okay so let's see so i have to contact amazon why they can't just why i can't get a package is fine we good no issues these things are heavy so i'm liking these i'm liking these these are good quality and yeah i'm liking them i'm liking i'm liking them so that's a good thing i'm excited about these because i can't wait to organize my little stuff there was some other stuff I wanted to hang up. But y'all see that in the video. Because I'm going to do a little quick little video. I'm going to start doing my videos a little less than a, like right at a minute. Because I know that sometimes they'll put them as short. Sometimes they'll put them as regular videos. If they put them as regular videos, they end up going out as shorts. Which is good because I get more um, views. Like I did a video with the refrigerator. But I think I did that after a far past a, a minute. Um, so did y'all see that refrigerator, a uh, little bit of refrigerator organization video I put up? I put up a couple videos. I don't know if y'all are seeing them. Um, let me go to my computer so I can see. So I can see if y'all talking to me. Because I can't see y'all talking to me. Good evening, sissy ladies in the chat. Hey, uh, Teresa. Ruth said, was you out causing mischief? Hi, all. Uh, I hope you have been having a great day i have i just got off of work came home to cook for me and my girls i think people like their dots is that alexa one yes yes it's alexa one for 10 bucks you can't beat that right sis oh those are nice you don't you didn't share oh okay the can opener video so i already edited it um i'll share that tonight I'll share tonight. As a matter of fact, let me load it right now so when y'all get off, y'all can see it. Hold on. So I won't forget. That's why I didn't share it. I forgot to put a thumbnail. See, it's saying short, but it's letting you put a thumbnail. And for short, you can't put thumbnails. So I don't want to just throw it out there. I want to make sure it's monetized if they're putting it as a regular video. YouTube play too many games, and I don't want my time to just be for nothing. So what I'm going to do when I get off with y'all tonight, I'm going to look at it, see if it's an actual short if i can monetize it or not and then if so i'm going to put a thumbnail let me throw this in the trash i'm going to put a thumbnail and um and i'm going to uh release the video that can opener is the freaking bomb oh my gosh it's the bomb it's the bomb it's the bomb it's the bomb love it 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 i'm talking like when it cuts it's so smooth and y'all see I'm about to show y'all. I'm going to send y'all. I'm going to put the video up tonight once I get off. So that was it. I want to do some organization, get all that stuff out that drawer, put all the stuff that I access easily up. And I want to do a video about the Keurig. If you have a Keurig and you try to um, use it and it doesn't, you hear it do that draining like it's taking the water in to heat it up, but it never comes out. Come to find out. There is a needle, there's needles, and I and I told y'all about cleaning the Keurig, but not the in-depth, because I'm thinking I had to get a new one. Um, I had to Google it, and there, and I found some videos on YouTube as well, that you clean these needles out with a paper clip. You got, even though it don't seem like nothing coming out or anything, you got to go on these needles and clean these needles out. And y'all, I cleaned both. First, I cleaned one out. Then I cleaned the other one out real fast. And he was like, you really got to get in there and just keep pushing and pushing and pushing whatever might be in there. And I took my vinegar and ran it through because y'all know I just got it out of storage. And I was like, please don't say it's nothing wrong with my machine. And so I was reading um, uh, comments on some of the videos. The guy that did it 
I, I just found a random video. I don't even know the man. Um, and people were like, oh my gosh, you saved me. I thought I was going to have to buy a, a whole nother Keurig. I thought my Keurig done let me down and all that stuff. And I was like, oh, I got to share this. I got to share this because if you love your coffee, your tea or whatever, and you use a Keurig and I have the Keurig Mini, those needles need to be cleaned periodically. Did not know that part. I just clean it, you know, on the surface and on the outside and get any gook or anything I see and I run water through it. But I never thought about the needles getting clogged. And they get clogged periodically through certain stuff that you make in the Keurig, which will not allow it to sensor, the sensor to pull the water up to heat it to bring it through and come out of the spout. And I was like, hey, okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Oh, those are nice. No, you didn't shit. Okay. Okay, the whisk will get hung up. Like, like it looked fine, right? For me to hang it like that? Please thumbs up. Okay. Yep, I seen all the shorts and videos. Okay, thank you so much, Teresa. No trying to get dinner together for hubby. What you cook? What you cook? Yes yes there's needles let me show y'all i gotta clean clean it like i got these little scrub brushes that i got with a package um that package i had got um so i gotta this needs some real loving and i'm gonna take this brush here and, and clean this um but that needle right there you have to take and you push this in and you just keep working it working it hold on Hold on, I'm trying to show y'all and hold it. Just keep working it and going there and working it. Then you go, it's three parts as needle. It's one on the side over here, another hole on the side, and it's another hole on this side over there. Um, so you just go into all of those and you clean it. You also got to go into that one. Is one down there. You got to take that apart. See that little circle hole right there? Right there. Oh, the light is not giving me that circle. You got to pull this out squeeze it pull it out twist it apart and then go and clean that needle those are the needles that will stop your machine from working let me check my pork chops because they don't take that long to cook and we about to make these mashy these mashy potatoes real quick hold on y'all pants falling down and everything okay We could take the top off of this, let that cook. Let me make these mashed potatoes because some poor chops do not take them. And you really gotta whisk these because I hate when these start getting too thick. Said she loves these things thick. Put some butter in it after it kind of does this thing. want to be putting all my extra stuff in here um if she gonna be you know i know me and rizzy are still eat eat the mashed potatoes we mashed potatoes um but naya y'all 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 i gotta make these thicker That girl is so weird. I remember she's like, Mommy, I want the ones in the box. I said, in the box? I mean, I, I like making mine homemade. I don't mind eating them in the box, but I like mine homemade. I mean, this is quicker, but I just thought that was weird. I'm like, if you're not going to like them, I just figured you just won't like them. But yeah. Rizzy Black, girl, I like them. I like um, homemade mashed potatoes. I said, me too. 
Well, everybody in the family to be liking me. Oh. Still need something. It's not enough or something. Not enough or something. I can't see. Oh. Some Himalayan salt. Just a little bit. I need some gravy, man. I love me some gravy. Gravy make it better. Okay, okay. Extra off my spoon. <laughs> Ooh, that's hot. Try to make them creamy, y'all. Leave the top off so the air can get out of them and they can um get a little thicker. Cause that's how she like them. To <clears throat> switch it to broil on low, sir, so that can get like a golden color on it. All right, y'all talking to me? Let's see. See, I don't want to add all that if if all of us is not gonna eat her if she don't want it. Um, she's different when it comes to mash, which is really weird. So I want to be putting all my cheese and like extra stuff in it. Um, so what I was going to do is let her put it on hers. Let her taste them first if she like them. Then add stuff to them. I'm not about to be adding all that stuff in it. And then I got to eat them and don't waste them. And you know what I mean? Like, mm -mm. I mean, I will, but that's a lot of mashed potatoes for me to just be eating by myself. Well, Rizzy will eat some. Um, I usually put, you know, I usually put in my mashed, my regular mashed potatoes anyways, the different, the cream cheese, sour cream and cheese and stuff like a loaded potato but without any meat or anything but i just want to do a basic mashed potato for the ranch pork chops and the green beans yeah it's not a like she eat all that but it's the texture and it depends on the potato 
she'll say it. She's like, let me taste it first. Because it could have a good flavor, but it's something about the type of potato. And those are the Idaho ones in the bag. I don't know. That's not it for you. Who loves thick potatoes better? Better not be skinny mini. Right. I was just thinking about You was thinking about me? Shrimp, garlic bread, and mashed potatoes. That's what you make? That's what you make in shrimp, garlic bread, and mashed potatoes? Did I turn on green beans? Nope. I keep forgetting my stove light up and tell me which one open. I'm sitting here struggling, trying to, not struggling, straining my eyes, trying to figure out which. <laughs> my left arm these should be straight let me taste it let me taste it let me taste it let me taste it oh they so tender how about you yes 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 we want everything spicy lord help me lord help me help me help me help me you put some um i think rizzy likes spicy stuff too so i need my black pepper i need some more just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit but these bad boys tender they're gonna be so good I was gonna make some ranch gravy, like some buttermilk ranch gravy, but I'm like, uh, I don't feel like it. Okay, let's put this box over here. This excess box, just for no reason. Ugh. All this stuff needs to be recycled. Okay. I've been wanting some, um, the uh, beanie weenies, or well, you know, with the kibasi and the um, baked bean. I've been wanting that. Are y'all here? Are y'all talking? Is I'm talking to myself? Oh gosh. And I tell y'all, I'm tired. I'm tired. I handle mainly everything on my list today. Scratch, 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 scratch. Oh, I love spicy food. Oh, yes, girl. Yes, Faye. Love me some spicy food. Loves me some spicy food. I'm trying to think if I should make a quick, like, gravy or not. Because mm. I could make some gravy with the, the around the bottom of the, um, the pork chops. I think I am, y'all. I'm feeling I want some gravy. Forgot y'all on the other camera. I think I want some gravy, but I'm gonna do like a light gravy. I'm not gonna do a dark gravy. Just a real quick slurry and make a gravy real quick. Real quick, real quick. Something fire, something fire. Oh Lord. gravy on the mashed potatoes. I do, I do, I do. So I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm going to keep it the chicken flavor. I'm going to do the bouillon um, stuff. Add this to what's in the bottom of those pork chops real quick. Oops. These is 
basically done. Pork shot show will shrivel up, y'all. I tell you that much. Could y'all see? Oh, y'all can see. Oh. <laughs> that flavor. Ooh. The flavor. I think I'm addicted to gravy. Yeah, I think I'm addicted to gravy. <laughs> Whatever, don't judge me. But I just want a nice something that I can put on my put on my own. Um, my what you call it? Some more liquid, liquid, and how and create a nice. Well, it's going to be pork and chicken. <laughs> Gravy. I need something for my pork chop shot. I can't just... I can't. I can't. I need something else. I need something else. I need something else. Because I'm not putting the cheese and stuff and all that in the pork chops. I mean, in the, um, the mashed potatoes, I need something else. I have to have something else. I have to have something else. And it's just a quick light gravy, not a dark gravy. Something that I can pour on top of my, my mashed potatoes. Yes, yes. These are actually done. I don't know when they come in and what they got going on. My girls love going to Starbucks to, they love going to Starbucks to get on a computer they'll drink them whatever they little favorite drink that they be like in there but they will go there just to chill and get on the computer and it's like right by us like literally when i tell you everything is right by us literally yes ma'am so yeah I'm trying to get this liquid around to get some of this thickness Oh, cut it off. Jesus. That's what I be smelling. That liner is only for four ninety, I guess. And I guess when you broil, broil is higher. So you get that smell of that liner. If I forget to cut the broiler off once I'm done. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. I ain't waiting for them. I'm, ex I'm absolutely not. I'm hungry, y'all. I've been working. I'm torrid and I'm hungry. What do I do with the little? Yeah. We about to eat. We about to eat. We about to eat. Oh my nose. Why I can't find the little spoon? Y'all, I can't wait to get my stuff out of storage. It's like we only got like three spoons. Like everything is like so minimal. <laughs> So minimal. So we're gonna put some of this gravy on this on this um, get some gravy. Some gravy. Okay. Get some uh -oh. Let's get some of these bad boys. Let's get some green beans. Oh that gravy going all over. Oh I don't need this whisk no more. So I can put this over here. Oh, I already got a fork. One of them things. Oh, 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 oh. I need to, I think I need to, um, I should have used. Why am I feeling like I'm missing a spoon or something? I just had to. I'm hungry. That's it. Everything is off. Off. We is not trying to be fancy. I'm just hungry right now. Let's see. Let's see how this. I was going to put so much gravy on the mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's see. Where's my knife? Hold on one second. I 
I have been drinking water today, Teresa. So don't you be judging me when you see me with my teeth. You hear me, girl? Do you hear me? Let me wrap this up. Where's my little... Hold on, y'all. Let me get something to drink. I should have got some cranberry juice. Well, I got some here, but I ain't pour it. I don't know what that is in that cup that Rizzy had, but <sighs> don't be judging me. Yes, girl, we got two glass plates and we be fighting for them. So I had to get some paper plates, like, yeah. Yes. Don't judge me. Oh. It's got mashed potatoes on it. <laughs> oh, bless me. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? It is not fair. It's not fair. When I say this gravy came out of it, you know I gotta add pepper, sis. Mm. And the, um, what you call it? It's so tender. Green beans. Gotta have the pepper. Now I gotta call Amazon. And I just knew I was gonna put my little pillows on the bed. I'm struggling with all them little teeny pillows. Actually, two of them was. Remember that lady blessed me with those chairs? Said I told her to bless me with them. She gave me them pillow covers. I mean, the pillow. Um, She gave me pillows and she also gave me cushions. I bit my tongue. And so, look at that. And so, um, excuse me y'all, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't bleeding too and it was, but whatever. She gave me, and that's because I chew so hard and so fast. I'm always biting my, my lips, tongue, all that. So I've been using two of them. Then I had this big fluffy puff pillow that I got from Walmart years ago. Then one of my king size pillows. And it's like, the little one's always moving. Falling behind the bed on the other side of the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the other side of the, oh, okay, air mattress, let me text the girls and tell them to, In my way. it seemed like my thing is frozen, is it frozen? My stove is off. I don't see no blue light. I feel like I'm smelling something. Where my water? Oh, look. I brought it home from work. Look. My water jug right there, Teresa. Sure did. Now you're texting me. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh, runaway green bean. These green beans are so good. Mhm. Mm 
I was like, let me get, let me get me some tea. I drank some water. You like, you can't chew mashed potatoes. Only thing I could really chew is this um pork chop. So. Be looking out for the video for the can opener and oh Naya, how she twisted it. Yeah, she put that out yesterday, right? Yeah. She wanna lock it. I told her go ahead. She was like, Mommy, I'm gonna try it myself. Her little butt be wanting stuff during the time where I'm tired. And then she got a lot of thick hair. It took her hours to do that. So I showed her how to do it. And she did her best. So, yeah. So hopefully I will have the knife thing up and organize, um... And take out my measuring cups and all that stuff. That all will be out. Let me see if I'm going to grab this little piece. Hold on, y'all. I'm grabbing a little piece of pork chop. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll have that up tomorrow. Tomorrow, before I go to work, I'll do that. It's going to be hectic, y'all. They want me to do 6 in the evening to 8 in the morning. Saturday. Well, that's going to be a long shift. Yeah, her hair grows so fast. I'm talking about the hours they want me to do and my boss just texted me. She's so cool. I don't know if she Indian. She's so sweet. She a thick girl too. Short, but kind of heavy set. Real cool. Right, sis. My child don't know I'm live. I gotta tell her I'm live because she keep texting me. Oh, and my boss texting me too. She just texted me again. I thought that was Naya. Right. Right. Come on. She's talking about a shift that's open tomorrow in the morning, but I got to work tomorrow in the evening, so I'm going to get it just a half day, though, unless she's trying to see if I want to do both. Man, I don't like to, but I have debt, especially with this house. I gotta get this little bit of debt off my back. So that's why I don't mind taking these shifts because I don't work every day. Like I'm off Wednesday. I know I gotta work Christmas Eve and Christmas shop. Okay, hold on. She texts me again. Oh, you know they will. Since I'm not trying to 
I'm not trying to allow the end of next year to leave here with debt. I'm not. And I'm giving myself enough time. I'm not trying to allow the end of next year to leave here with debt. So my goal is to, before the end of next year, be debt free once again. It took me a minute to do it. And I'm doing it again by myself. But I want to be debt free by the end of next year. And once I get things settled, we'll talk more about the debt and, you know, where it comes from with the certain things that I did. Um, <clears throat> one of the biggest things was um, using a credit card, my highest limit credit card, for a lot of major purchases because I was told, always told, you know, you use the credit, go and you pay it back. Well, when you use the credit, go and pay it back and you budget for a certain thing, but you end up having to buy more, 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 more than you thought and have to, oh, I got to get this. Oh, you got to do this. Got to do And it's just all this stuff just keep popping on and, and, and it's not a part of something that you can plan. It's like unforeseen uh, price and cost, you know, and I'm using my credit. And then I'm like, okay, I'm end up maxing out some of my credit because of some of the stuff being so much more than I planned it to be to have the funds to cover the debt that I'm utilizing. So in in a lot of areas, I am paying uh, not it off, but paying like you always want to pay at least a minimum. I'm paying over that, but like kind of basically, you might as well say the minimum if you're looking at the, dis the difference of what it is and what it's supposed to be to pay it off. And it's, it's so frustrating because now I know I'm paying interest and I don't like paying extra money for stuff. And that's what you do when you incur debt. And so that has been making me feel some type of way, which is why I said, you know, you got to sacrifice and do some things because my plan is to make sure I get out of debt. This house I do own, but my goal is to not utilize it or touch it or do anything unless I speak to my financial advisor and they say, hey, this is what you should do as far as um, uh, the one that I have one at the bank, like for my IRA and stuff like that. It'll be better for you to do this to save money when it comes to the equity because the house is full-blown equity because it's paid for so i don't know i i don't want to touch it because i want to utilize that for my goals for the next project or whatever so it's just a lot y'all it's a lot and i and i don't mind being somewhat transparent meaning like it ain't all y'all business because and I, I ain't talking to the ones that you know rocking and really caring about the journey but nosy people who just here to watch and i don't know they watching or whatever just in my business so um, with that being said, yeah, so it's like I'm trying to figure it out, pan it out, but I'm trying to do what I can to make sure that life stays consistent and, and I can take care of current right now and also pay on the debt and also <laughs> uh, pay on now and continuous projects to get the house to a certain point. You get what I'm saying? Um, but it's just me. Remember, it's just me doing this by myself so it's a lot it's a lot but i know god gonna work it out and it's gonna all busy 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 oh this is it god gonna work it out and we're gonna figure all that out so i'm about to get off of here y'all because yeah because i'm about to get off of here my boss keep texting me and i want to ask some questions because if i can do the eight to four and not do the later shit. I don't know if I want to do the 8 to 4 and then no I can't because I can't because my other shift is midday so that'll go into the middle of the 8 to 4 to go yeah let me call my boss to ask her about this specific uh, place that she wants me to go to and see if it's something I want to do because if, if so I'll probably take that um, take that shift instead of the half shift um for tomorrow so yeah that's more important let me get off of here um i will try to get that can opener video out and if you are just now coming back and been gone for a couple days i loaded about three different three four different videos so check out the shorts those are videos showing you things that i get i might show you a picture of them but i'm showing you how to use utilize them in my house how they're making things more easy more convenient and more organized for me in the home so i will be doing a video with those magnets and i will be doing a video with that cord thingy for the um 
my security monitoring. Um, so I'll be doing little videos like that. So, all right. Love you guys. And I will see you guys later, Gators. All right.